Understanding Airway Obstruction, Causes and Solutions. Hey everyone, welcome back to MBBCH, where we break down complex medical topics into simple, easy to understand concepts. Today, we're diving into something critically important, airway obstruction. Whether you're a healthcare professional, student, or just curious, this video will help you understand the causes and solutions of airway obstruction. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what airway obstruction is. Simply put, airway obstruction happens when there's a blockage in the airway, making it difficult or impossible for air to reach the lungs. This can affect either the upper airway, like the nose, mouth, and throat, or the lower airway, like the trachea and bronchi. Now, what exactly causes airway obstruction? There are many causes, and they can range from mild to life-threatening. Let's break them down into three main categories, anatomical, foreign body, and medical conditions. Anatomical causes. Anatomical causes are related to the structure of the airway. For instance, conditions like sleep apnea, where the throat muscles relax too much, can block the airway during sleep. Another example is swelling from an allergic reaction. This can cause the tissues in the throat to enlarge and obstruct airflow. Foreign body obstruction. Foreign body obstructions are more common than you might think, especially in children. This happens when something like food, a small toy, or even a piece of gum gets stuck in the airway, blocking air from getting through. Choking is a prime example of this. It's important to know the Heimlich maneuver, as it can save a life in these situations. Medical conditions. Certain medical conditions can also lead to airway obstruction. For example, asthma causes the bronchi to narrow due to inflammation, making it difficult to breathe. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is another condition where the lower airways are obstructed over time due to damage from smoking or other lung irritants. Now that we've covered the causes, let's move on to solutions. These depend on the severity and type of obstruction, but we'll cover three common responses. First aid, medical treatments, and long-term management. First aid for airway obstruction. For an immediate foreign body obstruction, such as choking, the Heimlich maneuver is key. If someone is choking and unable to speak or cough, you need to act quickly. Always make sure to seek professional help by calling emergency services, especially if the obstruction isn't cleared after a few tries. Medical interventions. If the obstruction is caused by medical conditions or severe swelling, doctors may use interventions like bronchodilators to open the airways, or even an emergency tracheostomy to bypass the obstruction in extreme cases. Long-term management. For chronic conditions like asthma or COPD, managing airway obstruction is about prevention. Medications such as inhaled corticosteroids or bronchodilators can help keep the airways open. Lifestyle changes like quitting smoking or avoiding allergens can also make a big difference. So, what should you take away from all this? Airway obstruction is a serious issue, but it's one that can often be prevented or treated with the right knowledge and tools. Understanding the causes, whether anatomical from a foreign body or a medical condition, helps in providing the right response, whether it's a first aid technique or long-term management. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more healthcare topics explained in simple terms. And as always, leave your questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time on MBBCH.